Nothing says I hate Freddie quite like blowing up a condom at a <laughs> booze fest, which is exactly what she's doing in those photos. You can't make this up, but I am going so to have great. to defend her because, listen, she's lying because she has to lie. Of course, Fair. she enjoys a frat culture. Of course, she had a good time while she was in college like every other person. But now... To survive in woke culture, you have to become a liar. You have to pretend that you yeah. think fat is beautiful. You have to pretend to be race obsessed. You have to pretend that you think Dylan Mulvaney is a woman and should be included in female spaces. We are being told that you have to lie repeatedly in order yeah. to survive in corporate culture. And she is herself a victim of that and a perpetuator of that. So, yeah, it's absolutely shameful. And she should feel ashamed that she brought this idea to Bud Light. But I do believe that she was conditioned. I mean, she went to Harvard. What do we think goes on? What do we believe is the sociology of people that graduate Harvard? They are basically being told that this is the way that they should think. And there's one more thing I want to say here, Tucker, because it's deeply upsetting to me. There is a post analysis that needs to happen here on why it is that Dylan Mulvaney for 365 days was able to openly mock women, to openly yeah. take the spaces of women, to get contracts from Ulta Beauty, to take, you know, contracts from other women, and all these sponsorships. And nobody cared until suddenly Dylan Mulvaney traversed into a male space and it became unacceptable. Why? Because men don't <laughs> tolerate this level of lies in the way that women do, right? We respond emotionally and not rationally. We should have been the ones to put an end to Dylan Mulvaney, but we didn't because we feel bad. And shouldn't we just feel bad for men that want to be women and mock us and put on lipstick and pigtails and call themselves a girl? I think not, Tucker, but woke culture says yes. Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty kind of out of touch humor. And it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach. <laughs> yeah. Freddy is bad. They're just so entitled. So how's Bud Light doing? The brand she's partly in charge of. Well, it's lost more than $5 billion in market cap since going trans. Was it worth it? Of course it was.